In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to rationalize complex numbers. What does that even mean? Well, what it means is the following. I want you to try something really interesting. Quickly, on your calculator, please, just type in the following, three over square root five. Just go type it in on the calculator, and what does it do? Well, it writes it in a different way. What it does is it, it, um, it's doing a process called rationalizing the denominator. Um, what it means is that in the denominator, it doesn't want us to have any rational numbers. I mean, sorry, it doesn't want us to have any irrational numbers, so it rationalizes the denominator. Now, um, if you have a complex number in the denominator, where you've got, what is a complex number? It's, it's got a real part and an imaginary part, um, or sometimes it only has an imaginary part. So let's say you have something like that. Now that is not a rational number. So um, calculators don't like that. Um, your teacher's gonna ask you to change it. And so in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to um, do something to this so that your final answer doesn't have any um, imaginary numbers in the denominator. It's okay if we have imaginary numbers in the numerator, which is the top, but we don't wanna have any imaginary numbers in the denominator. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what to do. Before we begin, I want you to remember the golden rule that I've mentioned to you before. I to the power of two, what is that equal to? Minus one. Please remember that for this lesson, okay? It's very important. I to the power of two is minus one. So here is our first one. So when they give you a question like this, where at the bottom, there's no real part. You know what I mean, like um, three plus two i, that would be the real part, and this would be the imaginary. If there's no real part, then all that you do is the following. So if no real part in the denominator, then all that you're gonna do is you're just gonna multiply the top and the bottom with i. That's all you're gonna do. So you're gonna multiply the top and the bottom with i. Kevin, how can we do that, bro? How can we just multiply, how can we just change the sum? Well, remember that i divided by i is actually just one. So you're technically not changing anything you're just manipulating it a little bit. Okay, so let me just write that a bit better. So you multiply i at the top and i at the bottom. Okay, so at the top, we're gonna end up with um, i. Now at the bottom, you're gonna end up with i to the power of two. But now look at this. What did I tell you just now? I said i to the power of two is always equal to, whoops, why did that happen? i to the power of two is always equal to negative one. So you can change that now to negative one and so you end up with i over negative seven. Now all of a sudden, the bottom number is rational. It's got no square root, and it has no i. That is the point. We are trying to get rid of any i's at the bottom, so any imaginary part at the bottom, and we're also getting rid of any square roots if there are any. That is what rationalizing is. Um, so there, we achieved our goal. Look at the bottom. There's no square root, and there's no i. Here's the next example. Okay, so now this one's a little bit different. Remember what I told you in the previous example. I said that if, if there is no real, then all that you do is just multiply top and bottom with i. Okay, but now there is a real part. So what do we do now? So what you do now, so if there is a real part, then what you do is you multiply top and bottom by conjugate. Kevin, bro, what's a conjugate? Conjugate's a really easy thing. You just switch the sign in the middle of them. So if it was a plus, it just becomes a minus. Okay, so we're gonna times the top with five minus three i and the bottom with five minus three i. Um, that's what a conjugate is. Right, so what we do now is we just multiply top and top and bottom and bottom. So you're gonna multiply the six into the five and the negative three i. So that's gonna give us uh, 30 take away 18 i. And then at the bottom, you're just gonna multiply these two brackets. Remember in the pre one of the previous lessons, I showed you the FOIL method. So you multiply the first and the first, 
but you can do this in your own order. Maybe your teacher has showed you a different order that you're comfortable with, that's perfect. Then the O stands for outer times outer, so this is the most outer one, and this is the most outer one, so that's gonna be negative 15i. Then you're gonna do the inners, so the inner and the inner is those two, so that's 15i. And then the last times the last, which is those two, which is gonna be negative 9i squared. Now, what did we say? i squared is equal to negative one. So we're gonna move up to here. And then at the bottom, what happens is that these two are gonna cancel out, so negative 15 plus 15 cancels, and then this becomes negative one. So we're gonna end up with 25 take away nine times negative one, and so that's gonna become 30 take away 18i over uh, 25 plus nine, which is 34. Now we just need to do like some type of simplifying. So, um, you know, the number two can go into both of these. So if you had to take that out as a common factor, for example, um, you'd be left with 15 take away nine i over 34. Then these two would cancel in such a way that two goes into this number once and two goes into this number 17 times. Okay, so we're just simplifying our answer. And so that, we don't need the brackets. That is our final answer over there. Here's another one. So um, see at the bottom, we have a real and, a comp and, a, and a imaginary number. So all that we do is we multiply the top and the bottom, and then we switch this one around, just like we did in the previous example. So it's negative four, take away three i, and then at the bottom, negative four, take away three i. We never use this number. We always use the denominator, and then we just switch this sign. Okay, so now what you're gonna go do is you're gonna go multiply the top parts together and we're gonna multiply the bottom parts together. And now we're just gonna use FOIL, so I'll just write it up here, FOIL. So we're gonna go um, first times first, so that's gonna be 32. Then the outer times the outer, so that's gonna be, um, so if we put these in two brackets, um, the outer numbers are, that's the most outer number and that's the most outer number, so that's gonna be positive 24 I, and then we are gonna do, okay wait, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Then we're gonna do um, the inners, so that's gonna be this one multiplied by this one, so that's gonna be positive 24i. And then we're gonna do the last, which is gonna be this one multiplied by this one, and so that's gonna become positive um, 18i to the power of two. Then at the bottom, same process, first times first, so that's gonna be 16, then, um, so okay, so that's first times first, then, oh wait, why am I taking the brackets away? Come on, dude, focus. Then outers, so that's gonna be this one and this one, so that's gonna be positive 12i, and then uh, inner, so that's gonna be that, which is negative 12i, and then last times last, which is this one here, and that's gonna be negative nine i squared. And now remember that i squared, what is that equal to again? Negative one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change both of those to a negative one, those i squares, okay? And now you're just gonna simplify. So this is the, at the top here, you're gonna get 32 plus 48 i's uh, take away, because that'll become take away, 18, all right? And then at the bottom, you're gonna get 16 plus, that becomes a plus, so 16 plus nine uh, is 25, and then these parts over here cancel. Then the last step is I'm just gonna put the 32 take away 18, which gives us 14, and so we're gonna end up with 14 plus 48i over 25. Two more examples. So remember what I said in the beginning of this lesson, if there is no real part, then you simply multiply the top and the bottom with i. You don't need to use any conjugates, you don't need to use any plusing and minusing. When there's no real part, remember we said that, let's go back, let's see if I have the proof. Um, if no real part in the denominator, just multiply top and bottom with i. Okay, and so that's what we're gonna do now, we're gonna multiply this bracket with i, and so that's gonna end up giving you negative four i plus two i squared, then at the bottom, you're gonna end up with uh, negative four i to the power of two. Now remember, i to the power of two is negative one. So that's gonna end up giving us um, that, and then 
that. And so that's going to be negative 4i take away 2 over positive 4. And so now what we'll do is just simplify a little bit. So I'm going to take out a 2 as a common factor at the top. There are other ways of doing this, by the way. So maybe you want to do it in a different way. And then what I do is I see that this 2 and this 4, uh, the number 2 can go into this one once, and it can go into this one twice. And so we simply end up with negative 2i take away 1 over 2 as our final answer. Let's do one more example. Okay, so here we do have a real number in the denominator. So then if you can, if you follow what we've been doing, you're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of that number. So you switch this to a negative. So it's going to be like this and like that. And so that now we're just going to use foil at the top and we're going to use foil at the bottom. So remember foil says that it's first times first, that's 12. Then the outers, that's 3 and negative 2i, so that's going to be negative 6i. Then the inners, so that's going to be 12i. And then the last, which is this one and this one, so that's going to be negative 6i to the power of 2. Then at the bottom, we're going to go do foil again, and so that's going to be 16. And then the outers, which is negative 8. Then the inners, and then the last, which is negative 4i squared. Then please remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. So what I'm now going to do is change both of these to negative 1. I'll do it in the next line, though. I'm going to put these together so long. So that's going to be negative 6 plus 12 is positive 6. Um, and then this is going to be negative 6 times negative 1. Then at the bottom, we're going to say 16 take away 4, and then this will be negative 1. And so that's going to be um, 12 plus 6i plus 6 over 16 plus 4. And so that's going to give us uh, 18 plus 6i over 20. At the top, we could take out a... Okay, well, we could sort of take out a common factor of... Um, well, you see what they're doing is, like, if you had to type that on your calculator, um, and if you had to type that on your calculator... Uh, or, or no, let me take out a, two, a 6 as a common factor. So at the top, you can take out a 6, and that's going to give you 3 plus i over 20. But now what happens is that the number 6 and 20, what number can go into both of those? Well, only the number 2, right? So the number 2 can go into this one 3 times, and the number 2 can go into this one 10 times. So we end up with 3. Okay, I'm running out of space. I'm going to write it over here. So we end up with 3 brackets 3 plus i over 10. And then they don't like to leave the answer with brackets at the top. So then what they do is they end up multiplying it back in again like that. Okay, and so that is our final answer.